this Australian extremist stormed this building, this mosque, this room where people were saying their prayers and going about their business. And for me, the saddest thing about that, it wasn't the 52 people who were killed. It wasn't the countless others who had their lives changed forever because their family members were taken from them. It was the hundreds of people that night who couldn't make it home from nightclubs in Christchurch because all the cabbies were dead. It is a joke. It is not real. It is make-believe. I don't really feel like that, but that is what comedy is. But we laugh about horrible things all the time. It's how people deal with tragedy. It is just laughing at horrible things. And I understand why you're offended, because I'm offended by it too. That is the point. I genuinely believe that everything is okay. Which means you're a free speech absolutist. The question is, who sets the parameters for such need? Where does it become inappropriate or otherwise immoral for certain things to be said or not to be said? And what the contradictory set of propositions you're putting forward is, there is nothing sacred and that is the way that comedy should be. But the irony, the mother of all ironies is the following, is that for you, comedy is sacred. And not only is that, free speech is sacred as well. If you treat me with respect, I will treat you with that same respect. And then at minute 540, you talk about respect. As if you, we're going to really listen to you. Yeah, it's really, let's be real. I mean, that's the joke. Do you want to make a joke? You want to make a joke? Yeah? That's the joke. That you are going to start talking to us after all you've done about respect. What is, the, what is the definition of the word respect? One of the definitions is due regard for people's feelings. But what if we're telling you, right, that what you're doing is disrespectful and you continue saying, I'm going to do it. So is that, is that respectful?